to use my photo roster, first go to myphotoroster.com, then click on the register link, fill in all of the required fields, and then click submit. Then close my photo roster. Then go to myphotoroster.com, input your username and password, myphotoroster.com should then display this screen. You should install on your phone an app for reducing the photo size and also the Google Drive app. Use the Google Drive app to create a new folder. The folder name should be the name of the class that you are going to be using My Photo Roster to create your class roster. Once you have done that, you can close the Google Drive app. You are now ready to use the Reduce Photo Size app to take pictures of the students in your class. I'm going to open Reduce Photo Size and then select Take a Photo. I'm going to take a photo of my student. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to need to rotate. Then I'm going to crop. I'm going to reduce the size of the file. And then I'm going to share this to the Google Drive folder that has the class name. I'm going to select that folder. And then I'm going to input the student's name. This student's name is Lucy Lyon. Last name is Lyon. And then the dash. And then the first name, Lucy. Notice that all of the letters are lowercase. They do not have to be capitalized. And then click Save. I'm now ready to take a photo of another student. I'll use the back arrow. Reselect Reduce Photo Size. Select Take a Photo. Click OK. Again, rotate. I'm going to crop this, click OK, reduce the photo size, I'm going to tap on the photo on my cell phone screen and click share, I'm going to share to drive, it's going to go into the class folder, I'll change the document title to this student's name, which is William Wolf, last name first, Wolf, then a dash, and then again in lowercase, William, and click Save. Use the back arrow, and I'm finished with the class photos. Now I'll go to Google Drive on my computer, select the class folder, I'm going to open it, and I see that the two students' names appear. Notice they're alphabetically by last name. I'm going to now go back to my drive, right-click on the folder, and download. Once the zip file has been created and successfully downloaded, you can now close Google Drive and open My Photo Roster. On My Photo Roster, click the Browse to a Zip File. The zip file that I just downloaded is under Downloads. I'm going to highlight it and select Open, and then hit the Submit button. After some time, the class information was uploaded successfully. I'm going to go to the Select a Class 
and select the class that was just uploaded. Here I see the students that are in that class folder. I'm going to view the photo PDF and notice in the PDF file that has been created, the last name of the student is in lowercase, the first name is all uppercase and in bold print. I'm going to click on create the photo roster and then download. And here the photo roster has been downloaded to my computer. If I double click to open that PDF file, here I have the PDF file as it will appear with the students' photos as I have taken them, their last name and first name, with the first name all in uppercase letters and in bold, so that you can easily read it when this is uh, printed out and placed on your desk. You can then save this and print it. When you're finished with this class, you can choose to delete the class or you can save that class in your account on My Photo Roster. That is how you can use My Photo Roster and your cell phone to create a photo roster that you can use in class to easily identify and call on your students by name. I hope this is useful to you in your classes.